<laughs> good morning, good afternoon, good evening, family. Welcome, welcome to the mental house with me, your host, Khadija. You know, when you got two people looking at the exact same thing and they see it so differently, it is obvious that they are operating off of a different stimulus and that um, uh, um, that you know that there's there's no balance because they're just operating off of two different uh, um, stimuluses. Now, I'm saying that because I was really proud, actually. I didn't know how. I felt more like Gammy um, when I watched Jada Pinkett's uh, uh, Red Table Talk with Olivia Jade. Um, in the interview that Gammy and Jada and her daughter Willow did with this young lady. Now, of course, a lot of people would be mm, upset and say they didn't give a damn or yada, 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 and kind of had the same the feeling that the Gram, Gam, Gammy had in terms of her privilege, in terms of, you know, how they dealt with the whole situation. But I must admit, after watching the interview, I thought, I learned something, and I believe, in, and I, I felt sincerity in Jade, Olivia Jade's comments. She's not that jaded and that hard yet where, you know, you couldn't see her hurt. She wore it right out there, and I want to commend her uh, for being honest, for taking those hits, for having the courage to go on of the red table talk and deal with what she dealt with because she felt it was a safe space. And for those of y'all who are saying, you know, here's a little, little white woman running to black women for forgiveness and expecting to be forgiven. Um, I'm seeing all past that, you know, and I'm, and I'm just tired of that conversation. Everybody knows what the deal is. How many times can you keep reassessing the same thing and saying it over and over and over and over and over and over again without it just getting um, to be what it is? And let's just change it if we can. We acknowledge what the problem is. We don't have to keep saying it is, it is, it is. And so that's what I came away with. Um, now, with that being said, that's this is just my opinion. And um, like they say, opinions are like buttholes. Everybody got one. So, y'all tell me about your comment. If you didn't get a chance to watch the Red Table talk and what you thought about uh, Lori Laughlin's daughter. Um, 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 tell me what you thought about that that interview that she did with Jada. I think that's whose daughter it is. But anyway, enough of that. That leads me to my main topic. And my main thought process. <laughs> Y'all ain't gonna believe this. Sophia Richie defends herself against charges of white privilege as she publicly supports her friend Olivia Jade after her red table talk. And uh Olivia was smart enough to say, and she was wise enough, and she was honest enough to say. Most of her friends and families didn't feel this way and that they don't understand what privilege is. And um, it'll probably take a situation like she had to go through to understand. Uh, and I thought she was just candid and honest. However, it is Sophia Richie, Lionel Richie daughter, that really irks me. First of all, I'm disappointed in your father that he didn't do a better job of telling you what it really is, okay? And for um, giving you a false narrative about what it is and what it life is like, being that he's a black man, 
from Tess from Alabama. Oh, I thought that was just disgusting. Because Sophia Richie made it clear that she still supports her friend following the contentious conversation on Jada and Pinky Smith Red Table Talk, as she should. After Olivia J shared a snippet of the interview about her participation in the college administration bribery scandal, um, Sophia jumped into the comments with words of encouragement, though she was swiftly attacked by others uh, on the other users. Yes, girl, can't wait for what's ahead. The 22-year-old model initially gushed about the clip um, in which her friend wasn't trying to victimize herself and didn't want pity. Um, the sentiment didn't sit well with some, include one user who claims Sophia's comment was an example of her privilege. Somebody tweeted, at Sophia Ritchie, white privilege supporting white privilege, they wrote, adding a clown emoji at the end. You know, multiple people have commented with some of them claiming that Sophia, whose father is Lionel Richie is black, couldn't be the beneficiary of white privilege. Hours later, Sophia returned uh, with a rejoinder, we are all human who make human mistakes. Life is too short to wish negativity on someone. Cindy, you love. Now, I am dead disappointed in Lionel Richie. And so I don't even want to go there because, yes, when he got to Hollywood, he went crazy. And he did, left his, he did leave his black wife um, who caught him in the house with these white women, um, these Beckys with the good hair. Uh, his black wife that, that stuck by him in college when he was in the Commodores and all that. Um, that's the history of him. And that he has so, it seems, it appears, I mean, I can't, allegedly, he appears to have so much self-hatred that um, a child he raised could even say something um, and could not be aware of of what it is. You know, that is trying to be that's trying to be conveyed here by her so called friend and by Gammy. So, you know, Lionel Richie is a joke. Um Olivia J's presence at the red table was hotly opposed by Jay's mom, Adrian Banfield Jones, who tore into her at the start of the show before she came out. She said, I fought a tooth and nail. I just found it really ironic that she chose three black women to reach out to for her redemption story. I mean, you can't get mad at that comment. It's not a racist comment. She told the truth. Everybody comes to us to bail us out, to bail them out. To, to, to use our energy, our support, um, our forgiveness, our compassion. But then when it comes to any everybody using those same attributes for us, they seem to uh, go ghost. And so that's very legitimate. I understand what Gamby is saying 100% positively, yes. I get it. However, there's some compassion um, and wisdom in what Jada said as well. Um, because if we perform just like the people that we have a problem with, how are we any better than them? I don't know. Maybe it's just me overthinking. Y'all let me know what you think. Um, I thought it was very interesting because 
I don't know if there's a right or a wrong answer. It's yin and yang in the universe, and it's in everything, the good and the bad. So you have to accept them both. Um, and I think it's important that we do that. <laughs> um, although Jada would understand it, she replied to her mother, I never want to be the thing that was done to me by white women. Some people say, yeah, you should be the thing. You should be the thing that they are to us. There is no right or wrong answer. Olivia appeared to, um, you know, uh, uh, she just appeared to, you know, she, she had knowledge. She didn't have no knowledge of her parents, Lori Laughlin and Musimo Galanulis, whatever, attempts to get her into the University of Southern California by lying about her participation on a non-existent rowing team in hopes that she would accept be accepted as an athletic prospect. Um, how many of y'all would have done that for your kids? Because honestly speaking, if I had the privilege, would I do it for mine? Write a letter? And that's the culture that they've been doing. What makes me think um, she would be any different? She just got caught. This is chess, not checkers. According to the Los Angeles Times, an assistant U.S. attorney wrote in a memo on prison sentence recommendations for her parents that Olivia Jade has spoken um, with them about how to avoid the possibility that a high school counselor would disrupt their scheme. She claimed to Jada that... <clears throat> Uh, her family, and that she was confused about the application process, and she claimed that I really didn't 100% understand what had just happened. She also finally offered a passive tense apology, claiming she could she couldn't earlier admit that because of the legalities behind the whole situation. So she was a little bit more open. And meanwhile, Sophia was back home in Southern California following a trip to the Bahamas late last month. And just so you know, I gave that history about... Um, Uh, Lionel Richie because uh, he has Nicole Richie as well. Y'all remember? And uh, she was raised by the black wife somewhat. Um, I guess they got her on the road. Uh, she is not his biological daughter, but she is uh, somebody, I believe she belongs to the one of those Acevedos. Um, maybe related to Sheila E and them. I don't know. Allegedly. So uh, anyway, as I continue to look at this article, um, you know, this girl is friends with the Kardashians, of course, and all as well because her boyfriend uh, is Scott uh, Disick, which is, I don't keep up with these people, so forgive me if I blunder, is Courtney's a baby daddy. And the guy is 15 years older than her. Okay? Well, they broke up earlier in August following Scott's stint in rehab earlier in the summer and a brief reconciliation in June. So I'm just saying, for her to um, make these statements in, in regards to uh, privilege, um, to me, is it seems as if it's still a brush off. But I don't know a person's heart, and I can't police the person's heart. So if she's saying this and she understands what her friend is going through and she's standing with her friend, 
I admire her. Uh, but if she is not, and if she is doing this to be underhanded or just um, out of defiant, don't want to, uh, doesn't even want to acknowledge that there is such thing called white privilege, then I'm going to look at her side eye and I'm not feeling that very much. So with that being said, I want y'all to leave a comment. Tell me what you think about Lionel Richie's daughter. Uh and her comments regarding white privilege and does there need to defend herself and her friend which is Olivia Jade um, is there was there any need to try to defend that hmm. so let me let me know what you think leave your comment below um, if you like this video y'all just please give it a thumbs up Give it a thumbs up. Share the video. I don't cost you anything. I would really appreciate it. Um, so with that being said, if you like what you hear, please like. Please share. And please subscribe. And hit the little bell so you'll know whenever I upload a new video. All right, family? Thank you very much, and I'll see y'all later, like in the next video.